Hi, my name is Steve P. Bavarsky. Today we're going to look at the process of flanging number 10's backhead sheet here at the Wiscasset Waterville and Farmington Railway Museum in Alma, Maine. We'll be using our home built flanging machine to complete this operation. After scribing the layout onto the surface of the sheet, it is then indexed or aligned in the flanging machine. Two hydraulic cylinders are used on the machine. The first clamps the sheet into its proper alignment on the anvil, while the second moves a toggle to create the flange. Here we see Jason LaMontagne aligning the sheet in the flanger and then clamping the sheet. After clamping the sheet against the anvil, the operator brings down the toggle to bring the sheet against the die and start creating the flange. The sheet is flanged gradually a few degrees at a time until it reaches its final 90 degree angle. After this section of the sheet is bent a few more degrees, the toggle and clamp are brought up and the sheet is realigned for the next flanging point. This process is repeated many times over using a series of dies to bring the sheet to its finished 90 degree flange. We hope you've enjoyed this overview of the flanging operations on number 10's backhead sheet. If you have any questions or comments, please post them at www.facebook.com backslash ww and f. 21 campaign. If you're as excited about the 21 campaign as we are, join us and support the 21 campaign today at www.fundraiser.com backslash 21 campaign. Thanks so much for your support and thanks for watching.